The doctrine of original sin is frequently misunderstood. The doctrine is more akin to total depravity than the idea that we sinned in Adam's fall, though it is quite true we did sin in Adam's fall. Uh, so let's now turn to total depravity. Everybody agrees with total depravity, all, uh, all Christians anyways. Unless you want to include Pelagians under the umbrella of Christianity. While the first point of Calvinism, uh, total depravity, it is not uniquely a Calvinistic doctrine. The Arminian and the Molinist agree with it as well. To say that we are totally depraved is very different from saying we only do bad or we are as bad as we can possibly be at all times. Rather, all total depravity is saying is that we have a sin nature or an old man, uh, as the Bible sometimes calls it. In me there is no good thing, Paul wrote, in my flesh. Uh, he went on to say, our nature is corrupt in a complete way. Well, if Paul taught it, then it must be a biblical teaching. The wages of sin is what we want to look at now, uh, very briefly. And nothing can be more plain to the student of Scripture than what is the inevitable result of sin, namely death. But death in the Bible is not just physical, but also spiritual. There's spiritual death and there's physical death. Physical death comes with the fall, as Genesis chapter 3, and the rest of the Bible for that matter, illustrates. If you eat the forbidden fruit, then you, you shall die. If P, then Q. They did eat the forbidden fruit, and the death of human beings has been illustrated throughout the Bible and history right up to the present day. Spiritual death in the afterlife is, belt, is best... Uh, let me say that again. Spiritual death in the afterlife is best dealt with under the topic of eschatology, which I'll take up later. For now, we'll close here. So that uh, two and a half minutes uh, covers uh, what I want, wanted to say about the doctrine of sin in the Bible, although, of course, there could be a lot more said about it. Uh, but as I said, we will close here for now. And the next subject is salvation, so that's what we're going to talk about next.